Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Game Boy Advance emulation. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, yes, I'm still camping. Yes, I'm enjoying this. And yes, there was a bear on my campsite this morning. My wife may or may not have got some footage. We're just more concerned at getting the bear off the campsite, but we're safe and sound and ready to go. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Xbox emulation with Zemu, not to be confused with Zemu, the Wii U emulator. Zemu now has over 800 games listed as playable, and this is a really big milestone. In fact, if you head on over to Zemu's website, which I will leave a link to in the description below, you can check out the compatibility tracker yourself. I'm not entirely sure if this is completely up to date, but if we take a look here, they've got 78% of games listed as playable and 3% of games listed as perfect, which equals 81% overall. If you're an Xbox fan, you might want to check out Zemu. They are absolutely killing it. And for those of you wondering, yes, the Xbox is a very difficult system to try to emulate, and so is the Xbox 360 for that matter. So I want to give a massive shout out to the entire Zemu development team and even the testing team. Next up here, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryu Jinx. Ryu Jinx just got a brand new update that brings Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak closer to playable. Version 1.161 of Ryu Jinx, which you should already have if you just opened it up, has a GPU update that gives Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak the ability to render. It is not playable just yet, but if you're interested in this game at all, you might want to keep your eye on it. The Ryu Jings team is incredibly quick at development. Last up here, we're talking about Game Boy Advance emulation with the incredible MGBA. There might be a new version of MGBA just around the corner. Now, Endrift, the developer of MGBA on Twitter, states, I'm getting increasingly close to releasing MGBA version 0.10 but I want to fix one specific issue first, and it's not easy to fix. Now, Endrif goes on to state that they have this working really well on Linux, but on Windows, it works terribly, and someday they will have this fixed. When asked to elaborate, Endrif specifically states it's regarding frame pacing, which at a high level means a lot more emulation accuracy, and this means that version 0.10 will be pretty huge for MGBA. In my opinion here, Endrift is an extremely talented developer, so I will be having my eyes peeled for this update. They are very quick, they are very good at what they do. And even if this does take a little bit of time to figure out, I'm extremely excited to see version 0.10. On a side note here, I don't want to spoil this story, but if you're a fan of Pokemon Emerald or Ruby, you might want to check out Endrift's series of tweets. They managed to somehow break the game just a little bit. I am not joking here. This is a completely wild read and definitely worth your time if you're a fan of the games. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Simu, Ryu Jinx, MGBA, or even Pokemon Emerald or Ruby. Let me know in the comments below. And yes, I'm still camping. Yes, I'm still recording, editing, and uploading everything from my Steam Deck. And here is my campsite for those of you who are curious. There's my wife by the fire that hasn't been lit yet. And we did go kayaking today. If you want to check out any of our camping adventures, check out her channel, The Average Tourist. I will leave a link to it in the description below. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state. Point one zero, but I want to fix one specific, oh, mosquito.